zeros of polynomials. Zeros of polynomials. What is meant by zero? I told earlier. What is meant by zero? If a polynomial is given p of x is equal to x square minus 2x plus 1, something, you are getting like this. For 1 to value of x, the answer will be 0. For 1 to value of x, the answer will be 0. See, I am to take x is equal to 1. Put x is equal to 1. Substitute. So it is P of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 1. 1 square is 1 minus 2 plus 1. 1 plus 1, 2 minus 2 equal to 0. So if I put x is equal to 1, I am getting answer 0. So what is the meaning? I can tell that this 1 x is equal to 1 is a zero of the polynomial. Understood? This I explained that early. So if the polynomial P of x is given, if I put x is equal to k, I will get to P of k. If P of k is equal to zero, then x is equal to k is called as the zero of the polynomial. Understood? For the polynomial P of x, if you put x is equal to k and if p of k is equal to 0, then x is equal to k is called as what? 0 of the polynomial. But always we can't do like this trial and error method. This method is called what? Trial and error method. Trial and error method means substituting different values and finding out the zero. This method is difficult. So, if you get a question for finding the zero, you have to follow which method factorize the factorization method. Factorization method. So, in that, three types of questions are there. Three varieties of question, one by one I am going to explain. See, if you get a question like this, x square minus 4x. P of x is equal to x square minus 4x. So this first variety, what happened? Constant term is absent. Simple thing. When constant term 
value is absent. What you have to do? Three common outside. Write this one. Okay. This you write in the side. When constant term is absent, take common outside. Then you will 